Hey guys, it's Bear now. Welcome back to Pokemon Blue. In the last part, we beat Koga. He was a dude. And in this part, I swapped, uh... I swapped Bubba out just so I can have Birdo. Because we're gonna fly. Now, you can head to Cinnabar Island, south of Fuchsia. But you'll have to go through the Seafoam Islands in order to get there. And to be honest, it's probably a lot easier just to go from Pallet. Yes, you can. Just go south from Pallet. Feels good to get back here, you know? So anyway, we're just gonna go swimming. Or surfing. Uh, so anyways, we are on Route 21, I think. How professional of me to check? I do want to know, but not really right now. Anyway, so, I think we're on Route 21. Yeah, that seems about right. Uh, we got a fisherman! He's got Sea King! Uh, Sea King is the evolution of, um, of a Goldie at some level that I am about to look up. Put it simply, like, it's, uh, I think it's, what, 33 actually, but... Hold on. Scroll in the notes, this is professional of me. I, again, I wrote this in a backwards way, I thought I would go to Sea from Islands, but... I was just like, you know, it's probably quicker just to get to Cinnabar and then do clear out that route once you actually go into Seafoam. Because we are going to go to Seafoam Islands eventually. And by eventually, it's pretty soon-ish. Anyway. Moopy, you're so confused. Moopy, can you seriously not take out a Seeking that's 10 levels less than you? No, because everything knows some kind of confusing attack. And you know, and of course I need to hit myself like five times in a row. Seriously. You got almost annihilated by a level 28 Sea King. This is why it's so tough to train Moopy. I mean, I know this is a Goldeen, but it's just like, eh. Now, Grabo needs some levels, so... Uh, yeah, 33. Yeah, um... Yeah, I don't, I don't really like Goldeen or, or Sea King a lot. I think, I think, because you can kind of catch it a bit early on in the game, actually you can't catch it early on in the game, because you don't get, because you, seriously, you get the good rod, the super rod, and surf, all by Fuchsia, and by this time, you kind of need strong Pokemon. Pretty much the only good Pokemon that you can get through fishing is, um, Shelda, but you kind of get them a bit late. Bravo, you are awesome. You know, I'm a little bit afraid that I've I've just completely made a part a team uh, with Grabo included where it doesn't really benefit him at all. I don't know if that's actually true. Because to be honest, a lot of people would put a psychic type on their team, and I'm just like, you know, I would use Alakazam, except I can't trade. I can't trade with anyone to get Alakazam. My goodness, why do these guys keep getting crits? I need to heal up after this, because this guy's Pokemon just really wipes out all of my stuff. Straight line focus energy, how about no? How about no? <laughs> We're not going there. Dang! Okay, so I'll have to cut back. See you guys in a bit. By the way, I just want to note, you can get Tangler in that bit of grass right there. And, you know, if you're looking for a good grass type, I do think Tangler is alright. Of course, you may, like, I don't know, it's, it's a bit late in the game to start getting Pokemon, but yeah, Tangler's all, oh my gosh, six Pokemon. This is the first guy we've seen with six Pokemon. And they're all Magikarps. Oh no, he's splashing. Slam him. Slam him in the face. Well, at least you can do that. At least you can do it. Because I really want Moopy to gain levels. I, I really want Moopy to gain some levels. He needs 17 more levels before the end of the game. And... To be honest, there's actually not a lot of stuff before the end of the game. No, I mean, legitimately, I think we're in the last quarter, really. Because all we need to do is... 
beat the gym leader, go to Pokemon Mansion, we're going to get two of the three legendary birds, beat the last gym, head over to Victory Road, pick up the last bird on your way, and then beat the gym leader. Uh, beat the Elite Four and stuff. And you know, there's quite a few battles on the way. The Pokemon Mansion will be alright practice. But, you know, trying to train not only Moopy, because Moopy is about to surpass Bubba in terms of levels. Also, look, look at that, I'm gaining 100 experience for each of these dudes. Done, Magikarp! Seriously, I was gaining like 100 experience for each of those things. And I don't want hundreds, I want like several hundreds. Because it takes like 3,000 experience. In fact, to get up to level 55, you need like 200,000 experience points or something. So if I'm just getting 100, Every single battle is not really the best. Uh, now there are still quite a few trainers. Yeah, there are quite a few trainers uh, to fight in this place. I think there's only six on this way, but I might clear out the dudes in Route 20 as well. Cedra, have we seen Cedra? I think we have seen Cedra. Movie, you always miss. That is... I'm sorry, that's fact. It just keeps missing. Uh, yeah, I don't think we have seen Cedra. Um... Or oh, have we? Nope, we haven't. Cedra is the evolution of Horsey. He evolves at level 32. Uh... If you do have a copy of the next generation, and you have this game as well. It's always good. It's actually pretty nice to get one. They're actually really rare in this game trying to catch them, but if you can get a horsey, train him up, move him up to Pokemon Gold or Silver, because he can evolve into Kingdra in those games. Uh, we haven't seen a tentacle either. Oh no, he's he's doing my technique. Uh, and also, Cedra is pretty good in terms of this game. He's one of the better water types. There are some better. I actually prefer Tentacruel. Tentacruel's got some really good, uh, I think, HP and special stats. Uh, the only thing that kind of sucks about him is that he's poison type. He's water poison, which isn't the best thing. But to be honest, like, you know, Tentacruel's alright. I think, uh, he's the evolution of... Oh, he knows two binding moves. Nah. Strix not one of them. Hooray, Moopy! See, that gives me a thousand! Yeah. Nothing, you're just in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> so yeah, uh... Yeah, Tentacle evolves at level 30. Also, it's a cue ball. Uh, so yeah, he's got good speed and special. It's a little bit tough to get him, like, some of the better moves. Because it takes a while to get them to there, but... Like, if you're doing a lot of TM training, which you may as well. There you go, Moopy's now level 39. So that's 16 more levels. Holy snap, Moopy, you still got a long way to go. I'm not, I'm not really picking favorites, like, to be honest, I think Moopy is the worst out of the bunch. Yeah, you go, know, it'll be some good experience. Or you can miss! I know Slam doesn't really hit a lot. But come on, S seriously, like some of this is just ridiculous. And he's critting with Water Gun, although he's fast. Tentacruel is not amused, you can see by his picture, he's got his tentacles crossed. That's also why he's critting a lot, seriously. Cue ball. Cheap shot. Okay, sure. Whatever you say. Actually, there's quite a few more than six trainers. I should really count the number of trainers before I actually say a number. Now, there's two more fishermen up here. Legitimately, we haven't had any wild Pokemon pop up for some other reason. Oh no, he's a fisherman! And he's got a shelter. Ooh, this could be tricky. Moopy, use your not special attack. 
Yeah, shoulder's pretty good. Oh, and he knows Aurora Beam, of course. Yeah, you don't want ice attacks. You really don't want ice attacks. And of course it was a crit. Slow Pokemon gets a crit. Why wouldn't he? So yeah. Uh... Spice Crit. I know I should be using Seismic Toss, but Spice Crit would have done it, so... A uh, Cloyster, yep. Cloyster. Holy snap, Cloyster. Cloyster is so good. Seriously, and he's using Withdraw. Too bad he doesn't know that I have a one it came move, even though I just used that. It's not like he had any of the other Pokemon to switch out to. Okay, so I'm gonna heal up and I'll come back again. You see these really awkward, like, map boundaries? They look so out of place, just cause... Just cause the Game Boy can't do transparency. Or well, maybe it can do transparency, in fact it is doing transparency right now. But it's just like, it can't really do transparency like that, cause otherwise then there's too many sprites on the screen. And also look at this, it's a level 10 tentacle. You have to beat Koga in order to be able to surf, so why aren't the Pokemon strong? Like, that's one thing that baffles me. Just, the wild Pokemon, very weak for some reason. So that means that if you want to train, you have to deal with off trainers. I know they're trying to encourage that, but it's just like, there's already an experience boost. You get 50% you get more experience for fighting trainers than wild Pokemon. On top of all the other calculations, and all the wild Pokemon are just really weak in this game, so... Ugh. Oh no, Tail Whip, my weakness. Wrap him, wrap him good. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh, uh oh. Okay, sure. This is Goldie. Wrap that Goldie. Whoa, this, did you see his health? I kind of like freaked out there for a moment. Uh. See, so, yeah, I'm not sure why Mookie is really weak. Not there, it's just because I haven't I have worn many attacks. I feel like teaching him try attack. I think I've got try attack. It's basically a move that has a chance to paralyze, uh, freeze, or burn an opponent. And it's actually kind of neat. Okay, so we still gotta find more trainers. There's another dude. Here he is. He caught all the Pokemon at sea. Every single one of them. He wants to fight, but you've only got a Stormy! By the way, note how we were fighting a dude with 6 level 20 something match cups. And this guy is a Stormy. That's level 37. Stormy's kinda tough as well. And he's constantly hardening until I get a crit. Then he doesn't know what to do. That was a crit. There you go. Okay, so I can take out that dude, but level 28 Seeking? Can't do it. Now I just want to give Mubi a bit of a... a bit of a high level up. I don't want him to just completely... What should be? Oh, maybe he's a bit more south. There he is. Feel the sun and the wind. I can't see, feel the sun, I can't even see it, because I'm constantly looking down on myself. That's pretty deep. Poliwhirl! We've never seen a Poliwrath, have we? Nah. That's, I think... I'm not 100% sure what Pokémon we will never find in the game. Because the thing is that you can't catch Poliwrath, that's a, that's a stone evolution, but you should. Someone should have it. Granted, I don't think there's any water type. The only water type trainers that are still around here are these swimmers. Ah, it keeps slapping me. That's one thing I don't like about Poliwell. That it gets annoying. How he puts you to sleep and then he slaps you and it takes forever. My goodness. Ah. Can I wake up? Nope. Seriously, you get to, you, 
when you put to sleep, your sleep is so long. Ah, he keeps laughing me. Why do you keep doing this? Why do you do this? Well, we're gone, so it's okay. Falls along. Uh, he's about to use a tentacle. Tentacle. So yeah, so... Now, yeah, so as I said, you can go south of Fuchsia to get over to, um, Cinnabar Island. However, there is actually a boundary in the way, and you have to go through some of the Seafoam Islands in order to get out the other exit. And it's a bit misleading, because you don't immediately think, oh, I'll just go south of Pallet. If you look at the map, you'll be like, oh yeah, it's a bit closer, so I may as well go there, but... If you don't realize it, and you think that, oh, I just gotta go south of Fusion, in fact, I tell you that, then you just end up finding a lot of trainers, and then you have to go to a cave that is completely optional to get to a city that you could have just spawned south for, and completely avoided all these trainers. Because trust me, these trainers are just like, you don't even need to fight them. A good practice up. And speaking of good practice, there's one more dude left in this place. He's a triathlon man! But he's got two Pokemon. One of them's a star you. So yeah, so... Now, by the way, the other route does actually have weaker Pokemon. I'm not too phased about the fact that he's using the cover, because I'll just use Slime again and it'll be defeated. Um, the other route does, in fact there's two routes, uh, but... And also he's got War Tunnel. The other route does have weaker Pokemon in terms of levels, but there's more trainers and... Generally it's longer. And you also gotta go through Seafoam Island, so why would you do that? I don't know why you slam again, but I guess, I guess it's because I can heal up. Anyway, yeah, so you do get a lot of experience. I just want to put, like, maybe, like, a few levels higher than everyone else, just... Just because I wanted to evolve. And here we are! On the dock. This is still part of the route, by the way. This isn't. Brown. Welcome to Cinnabar Island. The fiery town of Burning Desire. Yeah. So I'm assuming you can guess what, uh, what type the gym leader is. We're not going to fight the gym leader just now. I really should have turned off Skype. That, that is so professional of me. It's just like, nope. Didn't even turn off Skype. Didn't even turn off Skype. Brilliant. Anyway, yep, so we're going to heal up. Now there's not... Well, I did say there were more trainers off to the right. There's... There's only, like, five? that are actually on this side of the place, but we'll check out Cinnabar a little bit. Nope, I don't have any friends. I don't know what he's trying to refer to, there's no friendship in this game, so... Yup. Some guy just telling you about stuff and things. You can cancel evolution. Yeah, and then they introduced the Everstone next generation and then kind of never told you about that. Uh, here's the Pokemon Lab. But before we do that, we'll check out the other trainers, because drag drag out apart, and also because then I don't have to come in this way next time. Now, there is a massive glitch that you can do here, by the way. Uh, Cinnabar in the west has a lab for Pokemon. Um, there is a kind of... I wouldn't say it's game-breaking, but it's definitely a, a, an odd glitch that can work entirely in your favor. And I'm not going to go into too great detail about it, but basically it involves, depending on what your name is, it can cause different wild Pokemon to appear in the one space just to the side of Cinnabar Island. Wow, you have a strong polywag, let me tell you that. You know, that could be a euphemism, but I'm not, I have no clue. Also, he's got a Sea King. It's level 31. Wait, what? So yeah, so as you can see, these guys' Pokemon aren't as strong. 
That being said, Blaine is a little bit tough. A little bit, not a lot bit, but a little bit. And also, movie's level 41. Okay, uh, there's another dude over there. I, I appreciate that you have big pearls. I appreciate your big pearls. You have you have Shelda. I I don't even want to go there. So yeah, so that being said, not only is there the Seafoam Islands, which unfortunately there's no trainers in the Seafoam Islands. Uh, but yeah, so Blaine, the gym leader, his Pokemon kind of got kind of strong. His toughest Pokemon is level 47. Yeah, I know. I know, you're just like, wait, 47, what? The previous gym was like 43. Oh, actually, yeah, that makes a bit of sense. I, I know it's also one Pokemon and also it's a fire type gym, but I have a water ice Pokemon. That Aurora Beam sound. So cool. I really should use Aurora Beam a bit more, but to be honest, it's like no one else is dragon types. Cloyster! Oh no! Oh, Moopy, you just miss at the worst moments. Moopy, no! Uh, Grabo. Back me up here. With your 1-8 KO move. Okay, please spam that one okay over until I get to there you go. You know, it seems to always hit like after on the second go. There was one time at the very beginning when it was the third go, but it was just like, you know, it seems to hit quite often. Uh I ma'am, I'm not gonna touch your pearls. Anyway, uh so by the way, we can fly to almost every place on the map, except for the one at the very top. You can fly to the Pokemon League, which is very nice, because before Pokemon League, there is a place called Victory Road. And Victory Road is a place where there's a lot of strong trainers. It's pretty bad in a lot of later generations, as in, it's, it's confusing in later generations, but yeah, it's okay. It's just like, it, if you hated Mount Moon, it's basically the exact same thing, except it's not really any larger. It's a little bit larger, but, like, we're at the end of the game and you're just getting a place like Mount Moon. Again. You're having it lucky right now. Tentacool. Level 5! It's level 5! We have 6 badges and it's level 5! Can I stress that enough? Hello, how are you doing? I swam here too, on my Pokemon. My Pokemon swam here. I just kind of took credit. But she's wearing clothes! One thing I don't understand is that how you do a battle in the ocean. Seriously, you gotta be like treading water the whole time. Unless it's like, you know, a Pokemon Coliseum or something. Where it's just like, oh yeah, I'll just get off the water. Oh no, it's a seeking. My weakness. I don't even know. So yeah, so I just want... Yeah, I, I will keep saying this. I just want Moopy to be a high level because he doesn't really know any moves and he keeps missing a lot. But that's just because slam. The accuracy isn't the best thing in the world. Is this good for power? There's better normal type moves though. Preferably... Strength is a bit of a better move, or even Body Slam. Body Slam would be really good on Mookie, because Paralysis is always a good thing to deal on an opponent. I don't feel like getting off my bird Pokemon. Oh yeah, he's a bird trainer. Because he trains birds. He wants to fight, but all he has is a Fearow. Oh, that's okay, I'm just gonna have to slam it to the ground, oh. 
well, <laughs> I got that correct. This is a, this was a brilliant fight, just, they try at attacking each other, but ultimately fail over, over and over again. Seriously, you get a thousand experience from defeating one of these heroes, even though it's so much weaker. Oh no, he slammed me. The has got really good attack. He always manages to crit things. And we always seem to miss at the same time, and I don't know how. Okay. Pidgeotto, you say? Still level 30, you know. Ah, oh, no. I've been missing so much. But don't worry, I've got this. No, I don't. Boopy, you just, I don't even know, you just keep missing. Ah, oh, Speed V will take us. I should teach Speed V Thunderbolt, oh, uh, Thunder. Just to be honest, I don't have a use of Thunder Shots, really. If I just have Thunder and Thunderbolt. Da 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 Okay, so we've just got one more trainer. My buff physique. Your buff physique. So yeah. I see your buff physique. I grab a star you. Uh, I don't... I don't feel like it. Um... Grab you can do it. No, no screen time for Bubba. That's because Bubba's not really gonna do... I, I would prefer to keep Bubba on the side, because he'd do really well in the next gym, but not this gym. Uh, Seismic Toss, yeah. Just because the next gym is Ground-type, and that'll be okay for, you know, a Grass-type to, to deal damage. But this one's Fire, and it's just like, why would I send the Grass-type out? The other problem is that I've got a Bug-type. Oh no, he recovered. Keep vice gripping. I get hardened. You can probably pull like a hot a hardened technique. In fact, you can use like harden on any Pokemon really. Just a troll. Wimpy. Okay, sure. So anyway, yep. So we just cleared out every person, pretty much. So if you see there, you could um yeah, that's Seabo Island, it's just kind of there. There's two islands. Except they're linked to each other underground, so it doesn't really matter a lot. Although I'm not too sure if you enter the one on this end and it, uh, you enter the one that I was kind of going to and whether it would trap you or something. By the way, with the Sea Farm Islands, you will need Surf and you will need Strength, and you also need Strength for Victory Road, so you're going to need Strength. Now what can we buy at the Pokemon? Uh, we could buy Ultra Balls, Great Balls, lots of stuff. Here's something I'm going to sell. Four Moonstones. It's just clogging up inventory space. I know, you don't make any money off that. But I felt like selling it. I was just like, don't they have X Attack? No, they don't. It's all on sale though. So anyway, yeah, so now there's quite a few things. We've got the Pokemon Lab here. You don't want to go into the mansion, you want to go into the lab. And preferably you want to have your fossils on you. Neelix fossil, and I think the old amber is still in my box. Yeah, you might want to take your old amber while you're at it. So yeah, so... Finally, after all this time, you know, we went to the... freaking Safari Zone, and I was just like, oh look, it's a Kabuto. I thought that was extinct. I'm going to my box for no reason. Uh, now you get to see how many TMs I've gotten. Since I've used quite a few of them. Old Amber. And now I'm going the wrong way. Brilliant. Uh, so anyway, yeah, so... Now, of course, it depends on like what you caught. Meeting room, okay. Hello? Hello there, do you want to trade your Raichu for Electro? 
I think that's an all right trade. Electrode is one of the fastest Pokemon in the game, and, you know, Rotary's not too tough to get. That being said, you will have used a Thunderstone, but you can buy them, so that's okay. Ow. Everyone was there. Now, this person wants to trade Venonat for Tangler. Again, good trade, although you can catch Tangler, so... Then again, you can also get catch Electrode, so I guess, yeah. But Electrode's pretty good, and that's a good thing. If you can evolve into one of three kinds of Pokemon, okay, sure. Oh yeah, so this guy gives you TM35, which is Metronome. Metronome is an attack that actually runs through the list of every attack in the game and uses a random one. Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres? Their whereabouts are unknown. We plan to explore the cavern closest to Cerulean. That is the most misleading thing ever, because the cavern next to Cerulean doesn't actually have any of the birds. It's not even open to you until the end of the game. Also, that's a proper PC, so I don't know why I didn't just use that. He's looking for a Ponyta. Um, you know, Ponyta's alright. Seal is actually one of the better water types in the game, ultimately. He is an important doctor. He studies fossils. So anyway, so this guy has a resurrection mach machine. And if you give him a fossil, I take a little time. You go for a you go for walk a little while. I'm sup I don't know if he's supposed to be illiterate. But holy snap, that's a bad translation right there. I think all you have to do is really just go outside the lab. And then you come back in, because I don't think the game really cares about how many steps you took. Where were you? Fossil was back to life. It was Omnite, like I think. So we can get an Omnite. So yeah, Omnite is a bit more uh, offensive. He has a bit of higher special than... um. Uh, more, more so, he's got, he's, uh, better defensive than, um, Kabuto. Uh, so yeah. Now, yeah, so if you chose the Helix Fossil, you would have gotten Omnite. And, you know, Omnite is alright. Uh, his attack, HP, and speed is a little bit low, and to be honest, there's better water types. Uh, but I think he's okay. He's okay, he's really good if, uh, if you evolve him at level 40. Um, that being said, if you, if you chose the Dome Fossil, you would have gotten Kabuto. And Kabuto, it's better defensively and offensively, it's special, it's a bit sucky, but, and it's also a water type, which is a bit of a, bit of a problem. Uh, if you trade your old Amber over, um, you will get Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl doesn't evolve, but its stats... So good. It's if you want a really good rock type, Aerodactyl is one of your best options. That being said, he's not ground type, so he's still susceptible to, to electric type attacks, and also he's rock flying, so they do twice as much damage on him. Um, but Aerodactyl, holy snap, he learns some really good moves. His attack and speed are very high, and he's one of the better Pokemon in the game. And we're just gonna check what level they are. For level 35, they're uh, pretty nice. I can't even check my Pokemon. I can't check what level my Pokemon are unless I look through my list. Uh, they're, they're both level 30, which is a little bit low for now, but, you know, it's not too bad. Uh, Omni and uh, Kabuto evolve at level 40. So, you do need a little bit of training, but it's alright. It's alright, it's, it's, it's okay. Um, I'm gonna withdraw Bubba, and I'm gonna end the part off here. Uh, in the next part, we'll check out the gym and probably the Pokemon Mansion while we're at it. I don't know if we'll get through the whole mansion, but we'll see. Anyway, see you kids next time. Do, 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 do,